obviously, a lot of people, especially if you're talking about Indo-Pacific issues, you, they look at Ukraine and they, and they ask the question, is Taiwan ready for what might be coming? Is it? What we've seen over the last years, not just the last year, years plural, really going back to uh, 2016, is China looking to, to stir the pot, to change the status quo uh, with regard to Taiwan. Uh, but what we've seen just over the last year is a very strong convergence of countries around the world, in the region and well beyond, saying to Beijing, don't do it. The stakes, not just for Taiwan, but quite literally for the entire world, are extraordinarily high. 50% of the world's container traffic goes through the Taiwan Strait every day. 70% of semiconductors manufactured there. Were there to be a crisis over Taiwan, precipitated by uh, Chinese actions, you would have um, a global economic crisis. And so I think the message that China is hearing increasingly from countries around the world is don't stir the pot. We want, everyone wants peace and stability. Everyone wants the status quo to be preserved. Do you think the Chinese are surprised at the level of American engagement with the Ukraine? I think that what China's taken note of clearly is the success we've had in building convergence both in Asia, in Europe, and even points beyond about the approach to take toward China. And if you, if you look not only at what colleagues around the world are saying, but what countries are actually doing, there's uh, an incredible alignment. China's taken note of that.